Okay, so pressure regulated volume control or volumes control plus are the same. Basically, the ventilate, basically it's a pressure control mode of ventilation where the inspiratory pressure can be changed up and down for each inspiratory or respiratory cycle to maintain a set tidal volume. So it's a pressure control mode with a new pressure target at, at every single breath or at whatever whenever we need to set a new pressure target to maintain this tidal volume the advantage is we don't have to worry about the proximal airway pressure anymore and increase peak right but what if this tidal volume to maintain it we're requiring more and more pressure what do we do it's the same problem because it will be a pressure control mode then when then inspiratory pressure cycle to 40 centimeter hto we don't want that. So that's why in this mode, we have to put a maximum value or a cap on how high the proximal airway pressure can reach to maintain this tidal volume. And usually the ventilator maintain this proximal airway pressure by five centimeter HTO less than the cap, if I can say. And the cap usually put 35 to 40 centimeter HTO. So the ventilator keep changing its pressure target until it reaches this number and then it will go it will not go higher than this despite that. So that way we guarantee proximal airway pressure in this mode will never go above 35 for example or whatever maximum value we put. So the ventilator keep exper experimenting getting feedback every single breath to change the target pressure up and down to maintain this tidal volume. So we get the advantage of the constant proximal airway pressure and preventing and don't have to worry about the increased peak inspiratory pressure and guarantee a tidal volume. So what value you need to provide? As I said, the inspiratory pressure, because it's a kind of a proximal, um, uh, it's, it's a pressure control target, but Believe it or not, we can get rid of this because the ventilator, we just need to provide the maximum value and the ventilator will adjust this for us up and down. We need to provide inspiratory time because it's a pressure control mode. Some ventilators will not ask you for this, but will ask you for this. If you have the IE ratio and the backup rate, then you can indirectly set the inspiratory time. Just use the math. Usually use, like, let's say, one to two, and then whatever backup rate you can calculate and set the inspiratory time. And you need to set the tidal volume. So information you need to give to the respiratory therapist and ventilator is the maximum, 35 to 40 usually. Tidal volume, six to eight mil per kg of ideal body weight. Inspiratory time, if, it, if the ventilator asks us for that. If not, the ventilator will ask us for the IE ratio, and we have to provide it, of course, plus the respiratory rate, FiO2, and the PEEP. Remember, the PEEP contribute to the proximal airway pressure, as we explained before so that's basically what's pressure regulated volume control or volume control plus i hope it's very clear it's basically a pressure control mode of ventilation but the ventilator using if we can say artificial intelligence give the first breath as a volume control get to the desired tidal volume see how much pressure we need it for to deliver this tidal volume and use this as the target pressure in the next breath we'll switch from this to pc and use this as the new target pressure and keep getting this feedback and adjusting the target pressure to maintain this tidal volume of course ventilator i think they can go up by three centimeter hto or down by three centimeter hto depends on how the ventilator being adjusted by the manufacturer and that's the reason we did not involve this pressure related uh, regular volume control in the basic modes because as you can see it's just a hybrid of different modes 
So the basics mode are the one we mentioned. Everything else is basically a hybrid of those in a way or another. 